long day at work. It is nice to have work, but this is better. Listen to this amazing sound. Frosty deliciousness. Oh, hello folks, welcome back. For I'm the one and the only, I am Hobo Tom. In case you're interested, even though I'm not getting any sponsorship money, but you know what? I'm working again, and I'm happy, and I'm going to be cashing a check soon, or two checks, two, for at least a pile of money, so therefore, I'll be generous. Up River, American Pale Ale, again, an American beer, I'm a true red-blooded American Yes, nothing's better than that. So you know what? But before I start, hit my Yes, for I'm the one, the only, I am a hobo, Tom. Two things to get into today. First of all, I'd like to thank all 500 plus viewers of my most recent fishing video of exotic locations. Port Orange in Florida yes I never realized a fishing video could draw that much am I doing the wrong videos I don't know we'll see um, for those three people that gave me a thumbs down tell me why leave a comment and at least you'll get a shout out worst comes to worst I call you a jackass but because of that below fray Thank you very much for your comment. Yes, below Frey, just like any other person commenting one of my videos, here's my video. Thank you for you. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. Ah! I like big butts and I cannot lie. Yep, yep. and that's it for that stuff. And check that off list of stuff to do see check uh, let's see here so I'm not doing a fishing video today I'm doing a wrestling predictions video it is Thursday or at least it was Thursday it's not probably Friday night not Friday night I'm working Friday night but Friday morning the wee hours of the morning so again, as far as I'm concerned, it's still my Thursday beer day. I have my one ration of beer on Thursday. I'm doing pretty good in life. But yes, I've given my free promotion. I've given my thank you. Let's get to the meat of the matter, folks. Just like you saw in the image, this is AEW All Elite Wrestling Full Gear. And right now, they only have nine matches. I don't watch a lot of AEW. I actually haven't watched a lot of TV wrestling in a while. SmackDown, yes, every so often. AEW, eh. NXT, I have my moratorium on NXT. They're done. Raw is a slog. Impact. Impact some good stuff. I'll tell you what, if NWA was on the CW... I would definitely see more of the demon deacon himself, James Mitchell, do, doing lines of white powdery substances off of the small of the back of various women of the night of Daytona Beach. Yes, I said that. Let's get to some full gear action. First thing, Tony Khan and his announcements. I have two thoughts on this. One, it's going to be predictable. And two, it's like, who cares after a while? So, he's just signed a, or he's acquired a major talent. Who could be the devil. The devil. Two names actually come to my mind. And I don't think it's going to be the one because he, E, C, 3 
I believe is the NWA champion. Although after the shenanigans they pulled, who knows? He's choice number two, unfortunately, to be. The devil. I heard this and this makes sense. If Tony Khan brings in Sammy Callahan, is that thumbs up or thumbs down? He can't bring in various WWE superstars for contractual reasons. I like EC3, except for he's part of the NWA, but it is the NWA after all. Because they're not getting that CW deal anytime soon anymore. Not by showing Ladies of the Night in Daytona Beach. At minimum. I don't know. I don't know if Daytona... I don't know if those women would actually be worthy of powdery white substances that you... Or if, if, if they smoke something that keeps them up for 10 days straight. Who knows? But yeah. So my bonus is that Sammy Callahan shows up. Now let's get into the, and, and that'll be interesting because that could do a lot. You could have him work, say, I'm the devil. And he could kind of be a pretty cool handler for MJF because I could see that. I could also see Kyle O'Reilly being the devil. People have said Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler, I think, is still on his 90 day no compete. It's not right back. So yeah, we'll see who that is. Again, my prediction, Sammy Callahan. That would be pretty cool. So let's get to the card proper and in no particular order because I have no clue. Uh, MJF versus mystery partner, Samoa Joe. Versus the guns, MJF and said mystery partner, Samoa Joe wins. Yeah, they're going to keep those. They're going to have MJF do double duty work for a while. Again, put the AEW belt on Sammy Callahan as a as a transitional champion. There's a thought for you, Tony Khan. Uh, then we're going to have Sting, Darby Allen, and Adam Copeland versus Luchasaurus, Christian, and whoever that skinny Nick guy is. Listen, this is Sting's farewell tour. We all know that this is going to be my stone cold lock of the night. Sting, Darby Allen, and Edge win. It's Sting! Uh, let's see here. Then we have Ricky Starks and Big Bill versus Los Ingobernales. Diapan, because that's what they were called in New Japan. The, the Los Ingobernales Facion versus FTR versus the House of the Black Throne. I'm going on a limb. I'm going to say the House of the Black Throne win. So yeah, I just wanted to be different. Gotta be different. In a match, oh man, so many matches you could snooze through. Which one? Which one? Uh, you know what, nah. Yeah, you know what? You could snooze through this match. Because as one James E. Cornett would say, this is lazy booking. So yeah, go ahead and take a nap.
Or I'll probably be sobering up, who knows. Be doing something. We have been a Texas death match. Lazy booking. Hangman. Aye, aye, aye. Wah, wah, wah. Adam Page versus Swerve Strickland. Even though Hangman, Adam Page. Aye, aye, aye. Wah, wah, wah. Is undefeated in Texas death matches. I have Swerve Strickland winning. That should be interesting. For the TBS Championship. Yeah, this isn't that bad. It's not terrible. We have the champion Chris Statlander versus Julia Hart versus Sky Blue. I have Chris Statlander retaining that belt. I don't, I don't know. I just don't see Sky Blue or Julia Hart being a champion. Sky Blue has 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 too delicious a booty, and I still remember Julia Hart as cheerleader Ju Julia Hart. Although to be fair, I remember Chris Statlander being the alien from the Andromeda Galaxy, which I thought was kind of cool. Again, that's a, the old harkening back to the old wrestling trope of from parts unknown. So yeah, Chris Statlander wins. Whatever. Um, this seems like a throwaway match because Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho, I don't know, they teamed up for some reason, the, the Golden Jets, are going to take on the Young Bucks, the Bucks of Youth. The Young Bucks said, said, hey, if you don't want this match, if you don't care, the Young Bucks are going to cheat to win in true Bullet Club fashion because they're too sweet. For life. The Young Bucks are going to win. That's going to break up Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho. They probably slap each other after they shake hands or they, I don't know. Who cares? This one I might act. No, I tell you, you can take a nap through that one. So, yeah. It's kind of, like, useless. Um, then we have Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley. Did she expect you want to get in the video? Cat just showed up. She hasn't seen me in a while. She expect you want to come up here? No. She wants me to go to bed. She misses me. Yeah, um, Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley. I see her sneak out the, the door. No, she's just hiding somewhere. Wow. I thought I found another lizard in the house. It's a lizard killer. I found another lizard skeleton. Story of my life. Yeah, but you know what? John Moxley's going to win. He's going to beat up Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy's going to go through a crisis of confidence. John Moxley's had kind of a little bit of a breather. Orange Cassidy again. He's all beat up. Yep, John Moxley is gonna win. Then we have Hikaru Shida versus Tony Storm. I don't know. I'm torn about this. I do like Tony Storm chasing the belt. They could still have. Whatever the, 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 the riot siders, I forget what they're called. The invaders, the riot squad, I don't know, whatever. They could have them do something screwy. Tony Storm. I think Hikaru Shida was, was actually always a pretty good champion in my eyes. Hikaru Shida holds on to that belt a little bit longer. Then maybe. When they bring Sasha Banks or, or or whoever Monet she is now and she can drop the belt to her. I don't know. Whatever Tony Khan does, he does induced off pottery substances off the front part of 
$5,000 escorts. Not Daytona Beach ones. Um, then, and the match of the night. MJF, Maxwell, Jacob Freeman takes on the leader. Wait a second, because he is the leader, there's only one way any leader can properly be introduced. See how slow my computer decides to run now? I gotta. Wait a second, what am I doing? I'm doing this the hard way. Why do I always choose to do things the hard way? There's so many other ways to do stuff. Let's see here, so I can go. Meh. Close this. Don't need you anymore. Library. JC Penny's little thing. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I just got my work shirt from there. Again, there's only one way to introduce. Jay, the switchblade. Jay, right. Oh, yeah. Because he got human. He shot him with his gun. I got a human. I think I'm on the run now. Human. So yeah. yeah, you know what? MJF is going to be beat up from his previous match. And the devil shows up. Oh, that would be cool. If Sammy Callahan joins the kingdom and brings out the true devil. Adam Cole! Baby! Boom! Yeah, MJF drops the belt to Jay White somehow. That should be interesting. But Tony Khan, yes, you can thank me later for all the great ideas I've given you as far as booking the show. But yep. Again, if you folks have any comments as to what nonsense I've been spewing, just feel free to leave a comment. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Do everything. Even email me. Every so often I do check my emails. I shall be keeping track.